Sarah from DC Fit, and this is a knee-friendly, no-repeat, strength and cardio workout. I am still in rehab for knee surgery myself, so everything we do today is knee-friendly without any jumping, okay? I do have a variety of dumbbells today, everything from my 15-pound dumbbells to my 5-pound dumbbells. I also have out a chair. I will be using the chair for a couple different exercises today, but you don't have to, all right? Let's take the feet out wide, get started right here with a little bit of a warm up and get those heels back right there. All right, driving that heel to the glute, just a little curl with the arms, getting warm, getting loose, and then we're gonna get after this workout one exercise at a time. Nice job, let's get a few more here. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, let's bring the arms out wide, and right here, let's just rotate right and left. Core nice and tight, warming up that core, warming up that spine. Big rotations as you tap the toe. Good work. Super pumped you guys are here today. Good, let's get four more. Three, two, and one. All right, little step tap right here. Let's just wrap the arms around the chest, right over left, left over right as you step tap. Good job. Yes, we are crushing it one exercise at a time today, guys. We've got 40 of them. We'll be moving at a 45 second work pace with a 15 second rest. Good, let's get one more right and one more left. Good, bringing the feet back out wide right here. Let's bring this to a hinge, all the way over and up. Good job, core nice and tight. Draw that belly button in with the inhale as you hinge. Exhale as you come up. Good work, all the way over and up. Nice. Core nice and tight, inhale here. Exhale, keeping that core tight as you come up. Good, give me two more here. And last one, all right, keeping it tall right here. Let's bring the knees to some crescent moves. Just driving your knees up, out, and around. Warming up that hip flexor. Good job, just like that. Up, out, and around. So 40 exercises, guys. I've divided those into four circuits of 10 exercises, all right? Good job. Right and left. Let's get two more, so one more right, and now one more left, good. All right, I'm gonna bring it over to my chair for some squats. Sit stands, just down and up. You guys can squat if you want to. I'm using my chair, either way, core tight, sitting back in the heel, pressing up for the heel on the back of the leg. Good work, guys. Sit and up, or squat and up, right? Getting warm and getting loose so that we are ready to just bust it. Nice job. Let's get two more here. And now last one all the way up. Good. Bring it to the side of the chair or a table or couch. We're just going to tap it right there. Right and left. Good. So four circuits. The first 10 exercises are weighted, followed by 10 cardio, followed by 10 more weighted, and then we'll finish the workout with 10 cardio exercises, all of them different. Good work, let's get one more right, and last one left. All right, heel high kicks right here, let's alternate left and right. Get it way up, and stepping back. Good job. We've set aside this time to work out today, right? Super pumped you guys are sharing your time and doing this workout with me. We're here, let's crush it, all right? Leaving it all on the mat, one exercise at a time. Good, all right, one more left, and one more right. Good job, all right, let's finish right here with some arm circles, big arm circles high and wide to the front. Good, yes, approaching this workout one exercise at a time, giving it all you've got, let's reverse these circles, knowing that you won't be back, right? We won't be back to any of these exercises today, all right? So let's just really get after each one. All right, one more, and that's it. All right, right there. I'm gonna grab a quick drink, guys. I'm gonna start with my 15 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna kind of scoot my dumbbells over a little bit so I can get to them. Good job. Remember, we're working for 45 seconds today with that 15 second transition. So we are moving in between, all right? So here we go. First exercise looks like this. We've got dumbbell on the right hand. Little bit of a swing right here, core tight, knees are soft. 
little bit of a swing, rack as the hips come forward and press, all right? So swing, rack with the hips and press, all right? Here we go, guys, 45 seconds. Everybody ready? Let's go in three, two, and one. Exercise one, right here. Swing, rack, and press. Good job. Swing, rack, and press. So core nice and tight. Knees are tall, tight on this swing, right? Nice flat back on the swing. Good, and then press it up. As your hips come forward, that's when you rack. All right, we're using the momentum of your hips and your glutes right there to bring that dumbbell up to the shoulders. Nice job, big press. All right, we've got about 15 seconds here. And then we're gonna go to some back flies, all right? So think about the dumbbells you want for those back flies. Good job, and press. We've got three, two, and one. All right, dumbbell down. Grab your dumbbells for flies. Good job. Core nice and tight, we're gonna hinge over. We've got back flies right here. Let's go in three, two, and one. Core nice and tight. Back flies. Good, driving those elbows up toward the ceiling, squeezing the back. Lift and then lower, lower, lower. Try not to just drop those dumbbells. Resist them on the way down, right? Core nice and tight. Lift and squeeze the back. Got about 25 seconds here, guys. Good work. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Keeping that core tight. Big exhales, you raise those dumbbells. All right, 10 seconds, guys. And then we've got bent arm lateral raises. So let's finish these flies in three, two, and one. All right, bent arm lateral raise, core tight, elbows bent, and lift. Might be able to do a little heavier on these because you've got a shorter lever. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Right here, bent lateral raise. Yeah, this is a good time to go a little heavier on your lateral raises, right? You don't have as long a lever. We've cut it in half by bending our elbows. So this is an opportunity to go a little bit heavier. Good, drive those elbows in. Lift and squeeze. Good job. Nice. We've got about 20 seconds here, and then you're gonna wanna go a little bit lighter because we're gonna keep working those shoulders, all right? Very similar movement. Good, so lift and lower. Nice, up and down. Big exhale, all right, we've got four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna put those down, and I'm gonna grab my eights, all right? So now we've got the long arm lateral raise, bend and lower. Long arm, bend and lower. Here we go, in two and one, right here. Long arm raise, bend it, lower down. Long arm lateral raise, bend, lower down. Good job. Woo! So we started heavier with the bent arm raises. Now we're getting a little more difficult. Still working the shoulders and just lowering our dumbbell weight. Good job. Bend, elbows in and lower. Big lift. Woo! Bend and lower. All right guys, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go into some single rear deadlifts, all right? Here we go. And down. So be thinking about a heavier dumbbell. We're done right here in three, two, and one. Good. All right, I'm gonna grab both my 15s. We've got right rear deadlifts, all right? So my right leg goes forward, left goes back for support. Core tight. We're gonna hinge over in three, two, and one. Right here. Nice job. So right leg forward, staggered with the left. Left is just back and off to the side a little bit for support and balance. All the weight running through that right heel. Glutes are going back, hips are going back. Bring the hips forward and squeeze, nice. All right guys, core nice and tight. We're inhaling all the way down, exhaling, keeping that core engaged as we come up. Good work. All the way lower and up. All right, guys, 10 more seconds here. And then we're just gonna switch sides. So keep those dumbbells. Nice work. All right, we've got three, two, 
and one. All right, then both down. Now we're going to stagger our legs with the left forward, right back for balance, all right? Nice job. This is exercise six. Getting through this first circuit. Here we go. Core tight. Let's hinge in two and one. Here we go. Left leg forward, right leg back for balance. Hinging over and up. Hips going back, hips coming forward. Nice. Hips going back as we inhale, hips coming forward as we exhale. Good job. Nice form. Moving quickly between exercises. So really have to focus on form, mind muscle connection for each exercise, all right? Give it all you got. You won't be back, right? Here we go, all the way over and up. All right, we're gonna finish these in four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way over to the floor. We've got alternating close grip presses. So all the way over. One elbow along the rib cage, the other arm up. We're just gonna alternate, lowering those arms in two and one. Right here, jump in with me. These are close grip presses, all right? So elbows right there along the rib cage, just alternating right and left. Good, I'm gonna speed mine up just a little bit. Good, as one comes up, the other one's, as one goes up, the other one is coming down. Good job, press, 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 press. Keeping that elbow alongside the rib cage. Nice work, we got it, woo. Love these, feel these immediately in my triceps. All right, guys, right here, we're gonna finish these in about six seconds. Here we go. We've got three, two, and one. All right, move those dumbbells out of the way. I'm gonna grab my 10. We've got a long extension overhead, legs out in front of us. We're gonna lower the dumbbell as we lower a leg. Ready? Let's go in two. And one, core tight, lower the dumbbell, lower a leg, switch legs. Good job. Core nice and tight, guys. Draw that belly button in and up. Lower that dumbbell overhead. Elbows are slightly bent. You should feel that whole back press into the floor, right? Draw that belly button in and up. We're lowering and lifting. Good, core nice and tight. Fantastic, guys. We got it, this is exercise eight. You're doing great, all the way over and up. Just about done with this first circuit. Lower and lift, crushing it, one exercise at a time. All right, let's finish these in four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way up. I'm gonna find my chair for a wide stance goblet squat. So knees and toes out wide, I've got my dumbbell. I'm just gonna press up and sit, all right? Let's go in two and one, right here. Pressing up and sit, up and sit. So a sumo squat, right? Just using my chair, nice work. Taking some of that pressure off my knee. This is where if you don't need the chair, don't use it. Just a regular sumo squat for you, right? Core nice and tight, up and down. Pressing through those heels, guys. Feeling this all through the inside of your legs and your glutes. Big squeeze right there. All right, 15 seconds, guys. Here we go. Woo! Nice. We're gonna finish with those swing rack and presses with our left arm in three, two, and one. So left arm, we're gonna finish just the way we started. A little bit of a swing, rack with the hips. Press right here with that left arm. Right, here we go. In three, two, and one. Right here, a little bit of a swing, rack, and press. Good job. Swing, rack, and press. Good, hips going back. Hips coming forward for that rack, and then press it up right there. Good job. Hup. Big press, core nice and tight. Inhaling on the swing. Exhaling with this work right here. Good. All right, guys, give me 20 more seconds. Then we got a little bit of a break. We'll put the dumbbells away, out of the way anyway. <laughs> we'll be back to them, but we'll get them out of the way for some cardio. All right, right here, we've got about eight seconds, guys. Finish strong, big press. Three, two, 
and one. All right, dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna take about a 45 second break and then we're right back at it. So moving my dumbbells, not completely getting rid of them because we will be back, but now we've got 10 cardio exercises, all right? All right, about 25 seconds. We're bringing it right back. I'm gonna use my chair. We've got burpees, all right? And then we've got dips. So for both of those, I'm gonna be using my chair, all right? Coming down, out, out, in, in, up onto my toes, all right? 10 seconds, guys, and then we've got 10 cardio exercises. Here we go. Let's go in three, two, and one. Right here, burpees, down, out, out, in, in, and up. Good. Remember, you don't have to use the chair if you don't want to, right? Just replace the chair with the floor, but you want to keep those hands under your shoulders, right? Good job. Out, out, and in, up. I'm coming up onto my toes at the very end, getting a little bit of a calf raise, adding a little bit of energy there at the end of this burpee. Woo! Nice work, guys. Remember, we won't be back to any of these, right? So let's push it. Here we go, here we go. Up, 10 more seconds here. And then we're just gonna turn it over for some dips using our chair. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right. So I like to start my dips by sitting on my hands right there. Extend my legs away. The farther your legs are, um, the more difficult these are. Bend your knees, they're a little bit easier. Here we go. Two and one. Here we go. Down and up. Good. Don't let your butt and your hips get too far away from your chair. Send those elbows back. Good. Nice work. Lower and lift. Nice and easy. It's not a race. We want to get a few good ones here. Lower, lower, lower and up. Good. Lower, lower, lower and up. We got it. We got it. Nice. Elbows going back. Working the triceps. Good job. Take a little break if you need to. Jump right back in. We're finishing right here. We've got about five seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, moving the chair out of the way for now. We've got four punches, four big rotating punches. Tap down for two, all right? So one, two, three, four. Tap down, tap down. Here we go. Two, and one, right here. One, two, three, four. Tap down and tap down. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, nice. Look for that punch every time. And then throw it down for two. Hup, hup. Good, big rotation. Throw it down, throw it down. Good job, guys. 25 seconds. Busting it hard. Give it all you got, right? We won't be back to these, so hup. Good. Throw it down, throw it down. Boom, boom, boom. Big taps. Good job. We don't have to jump, but we can use lots of range of motion and lots of direction, right? Good job. We've got three, two, and one. Woo. Yeah, large range of motion, lots of direction, replacing all of our jumping, okay? All right, we've got prisoners, hands behind the heads. We're gonna alternate opposite elbow to knee. Let's go in two and one right here. Crunch. Crunch, good job. Good work. Exhaling with that crunch. Drive that knee up. Nice. Busting it, guys. You're doing great. Exercise 14 right here. Good job. All the way, big crunch. Drive that knee up. Think about driving that knee up more than driving your elbow down, right? Drive that knee up. 10 seconds, guys. And then we've got some walkout commandos, all right? Good work, all the way over. We've got two, last one. All right, nice work. All right, walkout commandos. We're gonna walk all the way out right here. Commando right, up. Commando left, up and walk it back, all right? Right here, let's go in two and one. Walk it out, good. Give me a commando right and up. Commando left, up, walk it back. Good, all the way up, right back down, walk it out. Commando right, 
Then commando left and walk it back. Good job. As you're doing these commandos, guys, think about making sure your elbow stays under the shoulder. Good job. Core tight and all the way up. Nice work. 15 seconds, guys. We're going to commando right, then left, and right back up. Good work. All right, guys, we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, next exercise. I'm going to use my chair. You can go to the floor for this if you want. We've got a hinge, core tight. We're going to lift and cross that right leg and then kick it out. All right, right here with me in two and one. So cross, lift, in, out. Cross, lift, crunch it in, extend it out. Good. Two things going on here. Crossing it, tucking it, and then kicking it out. Good work. Core tight. You can absolutely do this on all fours on the floor. Good work. Right here. Right leg only. Crossing it behind the left, lifting it up, drawing it in and kicking it back. Good job. Think about leading with that heel as you kick it back, keeping that core tight. Nice work, guys. Here we go. Big kick. Cross over. All right, we've got three, two, and one. All right, we're going to repeat that with the left leg. All right? Nice job. Here we go. So left leg, we're going to cross it over the right, bring it up, bring it in, kick it out. Jump in with me right here. Cross over, lift, in and out. Good. Cross, lift, draw it in for a crunch, right back out. Core nice and tight. Good job. Think about keeping that core tight, that back flat. Draw that knee in, kick it out, leading with that heel. Big crossover. Nice. Getting some isolated posterior work here. Good job. Still keeping our heart rates up, working the core. Big exercise right here, guys. Nice job. Big crunch, extend, cross, and lift. Woo! Here we go. This is exercise 17. Nice. We've got three, two, and one. All right. Chair out of the way. Next, we've got two tacks. We're going to tap two to the left, two calf raises, or two shooting the baskets. Shoot the basket, shoot the basket, two to the right, shoot the basket. Here we go. Jump in with me. Two steps, shoot the basket, two. Good. Two steps, shoot the basket, or two calf raises. Two big steps. Press it up, press it up. Big arms, right? This is where we're getting some full range of motion, changing directions. Good job. Adding a little bit of a calf raise up. Up. Good job. Right here. Press it up. Press it up. Coming up onto those toes. Hup. Hup. Good. 15 seconds, guys. Two big steps. Good job. Lost my knee brace there. Right. Good job. Two baskets. Two steps. Here we go. Here we go. Hup. Hup. All right. We're going to finish strong. We've got four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, guys. Exercise eight, uh, 19. We've got four single half jacks, and then a nice slow star jack left, star jack right. Here we go, two and one, half jacks. Four, three, two, star to the left, star left, star to the right. Four half jacks, four, three, two, star left, right there. Slowing it down, picking it up. Good job. Changing the tempo. Again, full range of motion. Nice work. Keeping it intense without the jumping. Getting high and low, full range of motion. 15 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Good, right there. Four half jacks. We got it, we got it. Two star jacks. Hup. Good, right there. Half jacks, four, three, two, two star jacks. This is it. Left, down, right, down, good. All right, guys, here we go. Exercise. 20, right here. We've got towel throw downs, pick it up, tap change. Towel throw down, pick it up. Here we go, two and one. Throw it down, tap and change. Throw it down, tap and change. Right there, pick it up, good. Hinging over to pick my towel up so that I don't have to completely squat, right? Little tap change right here in between. If you want to add a little hop, just add a little hop right there in the middle. I can only add this hop 
on this side. <laughs> Good job. Tap and change. 15 seconds, guys. Tap, change. Core tight as you hinge over to pick up that towel and throw it right back down. Wrapping up 20 exercises, guys, right here. We've got four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, 45 second break, and we're bringing back out the dumbbells, all right? Here we go. We are starting with the chair, all right? I started with the chair so we could set this up. I'm gonna use my five pound dumbbells. We're gonna have a dumbbell under the right heel, and then a dumbbell under the left heel, and then a dumbbell under both heels, all right? So we got about 15 seconds. Let's bring this back. Dumbbell right there under that right heel. We're gonna lift and press right here. We got about five seconds, everybody ready? So tight core, tall spine. Let's go in two and one, right here. Up and down, good. All the weight running through that right heel. Really, really trying to get to accent this right quad by elevating that right heel right there, down and up. I'm up just a little on my left toe, right? Otherwise, it would look like this. I would go off balance with this elevation. So just a little bit right there on my left toe. All the way up and down. Again, you can do this in a squat without using the chair. Nice job. We got it, we got it. Right here, guys, we've got about five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, moving that dumbbell. Now that dumbbell is gonna go under the left heel, all right? And again, grabbing that dumbbell, coming up, all the weight running through the left heel this time. Right here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and down. Good job, guys. Working through this last set, last circuit of 10 exercises, right? Let's bust it one at a time. Good job. All the way up and sit. Good. All the weight running through that left heel. Tight core. Sit back. Press up tall. Good job. All right, we've got about 20 seconds, and then we're gonna elevate both heels, all right, for one set of both. All right, here we go. Pressing up, still up on this right toe just a little bit. Equalize the height. Good job, press it up. Here we go, here we go. We've got three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's grab both dumbbells, or whatever you're using to elevate your heels. Right there, heels up right there. Grabbing that dumbbell and right here, sit and stand in three, two, and one. This is it. Sitting, just tap those glutes right back up. Good job, sit and up. All the weights running right there through the back of the legs. Pressing up, a little bit of a sit, right back up. Good job using the chair to support the knees. Good, a little bit of a break there and then press up. Good job, nice. All right, we've got about 20 seconds here, and then we're gonna go to back rows, all right? So be thinking about some heavy dumbbells for those back rows. Good work, 10 seconds here, guys, all the way up, right back down, up, right back down. Let's finish these right here in four, three, two, and one. All right, chair out of the way. And move those dumbbells out of the way so you don't step on them. And we've got back rows, all right? Grab some heavy dumbbells, core nice and tight as you hinge over. Right here, jump in with me, throw the dumbbells up, right there. So elbows to the sky, dumbbells to the hips. Squeezing the back, right there. Big row, nice work. Here we go, here we go. We got this is exercise 24. Crushing it, guys leaving it all on the mat, one exercise at a time, right? Good job, we've got six more weighted exercises. Let's finish strong. Grab right, those elbows up, dumbbells to the hips. Good job, we've got a core exercise after this. I want you to grab a lighter dumbbell. Right here, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. I am gonna grab my eight for this. You may have done these with me before. We're gonna stir the pot, rotate to the right. 
Stir to the left, rotate to the left. All right, here we go in two and one. So stir to the right, rotate right. Stir to the left, rotate left. Good. Inhale on the stir, exhale on the rotation. Good job. Nice tight core, stir and rotate. Good. Nice. You guys are doing fantastic. So glad you're doing this workout with me. We can do this together, right? We are busting it more than halfway through. So great. 10 seconds here, guys. And then we've got some tricep kickbacks, all right? So think about dumbbells for that. We've got three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna grab my other eight. Hinging over here, guys, core nice and tight. Elbows up. We're gonna kick it back right there. Ready? Got about five more seconds. Woo, here we go. Elbows up, let's go in two and one. Here we go, big kick back. Good job. Nice. Here we go, here we go. Keep those elbows up, lifting the dumbbells, right? The arm is only moving from the elbow to the wrist, to the dumbbell. Good work, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good job. Big squeeze. Here we go, 20 more seconds, guys. Finish strong. And then we've got some standing chest flies, all right? So I'm gonna go to my 10 pound dumbbells after this. Good, big squeeze, not too heavy. Elbows up, squeeze those triceps. Let's finish these in four, three, two, and one. All right, switching to my 10s. We've got low V, crossing in the front fly. So we're gonna cross this way, and then cross right over left, all right? Core nice and tight. Let's go in three, two, and one, right here. Big cross fly. Good job. Woo! Cross it. Taking it right out across the front of the body, right out across the chest. Keeping the palms up as you lift. Good. Here we go, here we go, right there. Nice. Big exhale, right there. Woo! Sweating bullets, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you. Feeling good. I knew this workout would fly by. Nice, we've got about 12 seconds here, guys. Then we're gonna go to a wide stance, rear deadlift, all right? So five more here. We're gonna grab some heavier dumbbells in two and one. All right, so I'm gonna grab my 15s. We're gonna take it out a little bit wider here. Knees and toes out a little bit wider. And again, hinge and come up, all right? Let's go right here in two and one. Hinging over and up. Just a little bit wider of a stance and up. I've got my toes pointed out just a little. Nice. Not in a complete sumo for me. All the way over and up. Nice job. Hips going back with the inhale. Hips coming forward with the exhale. Big squeeze. 20 seconds right there, guys. Coming up on exercise. 29, right? Crushing it. Good work. Not returning to these. Let's finish strong right here. We've got five more seconds. Finish strong. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, going to my tens for these. We've got bicep curls to an Arnold press, all right? So core tight in your stance. We're gonna curl, palms facing you. Rotate away for the Arnold press. Here we go, two and one right here. Big curl and Arnold press. Woo! Core tight, bracing that curl. Nice job. And stabilizing this Arnold press. We got it, we got it. Boom, 30 seconds, guys. And then we're gonna finish this third second, or this third circuit, <laughs> with two dumbbell kettlebell swings, all right? So I'm just gonna keep these tens Rotate around, good. Big curl, squeeze it, and rotate. Pressing those shoulders down, right here as those dumbbells go up. Nice, let's finish here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, right here, two dumbbell kettlebell swings. I've got my dumbbells right here together in front. I'm gonna small hinge here, tight core, flat back, 
using my hips to swing those dumbbells out in front of me, all right? You can do one dumbbell if you want. All right, let's go in two and one right here. You don't have to do two dumbbells. If you've got a kettlebell, use that. Good job, and up. Woo, good work. Nice job. Finish strong here, guys. Hips coming back, hips coming forward. Finishing our weighted work with a full body weighted movement here. Core tight, knees are soft. Good job. We're gonna finish strong. 15 seconds right here. We put the dumbbells away. Finish strong with me, guys. You got this right here. We've got four, three, two, and one. Wow, great job. All right, now, in this 45 seconds, we can't actually completely move the dumbbells, right? Because now we won't be back. All right. Woo, grab a quick drink. We're gonna finish up here, guys. We've got about 25 seconds. And we're right back at it. First exercise looks like this. We've got four punches up and down. Side kick, side kick. You're always punching and kicking on the same side. All right, so here we go, 10 seconds. We're gonna start right here with the right, up, down, up, down. Side kick, side kick, up, down, up, down. Let's finish strong, guys. 10 exercises, let's go in two and one right here. Up and down for four, side kick, side kick. Up and down for four, good. Side kick, side kick. Up and down four, big side kick, good. Nice job, boom, boom. Side kick's always following the punches. Hup, boom, boom, boom. Side kick, side kick. Up and down four. Give me a big kick to the side, kick to the side. Up and down four. All right, guys, 15 seconds. Here we go, give me up and down. Again, we're changing directions. Lots of movement. Nice work. Boom. Good job. Up and down. Right here, side kick. Side kick. We've got four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, guys, here we go. We've got arms overhead with a big kick out front, just like that. Everybody ready? So arms overhead, big kick. Let's go in two and one right here. Kick it out front, just like that. Core tight, big kick. Good, nice work. Core tight, exhale as you raise that leg. Nice, good. Big exhale, here we go, here we go. Big crunch, exhale as that leg comes up. Nice. 15 seconds here, guys. We got it, we got it. Boom, boom, big exhale. Woo, losing my balance a little bit. Good, I'm so excited about kicking. <laughs> here we go, we've got three, two, and one. All right, next exercise. We've got out, out, in, in, two taps. And again, out, out, in, in, two taps, all right? Here we go, in three, two, and one, big movement. Out, out, in, in, two taps, just like that. Good, we got it. Out, out, in, in, give me two taps. Big arms, guys, big leg movements, lots of direction, big range of motion. We got it, Hup. and back. Two taps, two taps, boom, boom. Here we go, here we go. Nice work, out, out, in, in, two taps. Here we go, 20 seconds, guys. Give me two big taps with your out, out, in, in, in. Hup. Good. Nice work. Big knee, or big taps. All right, guys, we've got about seven seconds. Two big taps. Out, out, in, in. Woo, right here. We've got three, two, and one. All right, next exercise. We've got moving rear deadlifts, all right? So we're going to rear deadlift, come up. Rear deadlift, come up. Moving three and back up, moving three. Let's go in two and one right here. Over and up, over and up. Hips going back, hips coming forward. Nice job. Let's add the arms up overhead, if you can, all right? All the way over, arms up. Again, still adding a little bit of a range of motion there by changing our arms, all right? Good. Hips going back, nice flat back. 
and then press up. Good job, here we go, here we go. Over and up, woo, we got it. Down and up, here we go, here we go. All right guys, we've got about five more seconds here. Hips going back, pressing up tall, finishing these 10 exercises strong. We've got three, two, and one, woo. All right guys, next exercise. We've got, let's start right. We've got jab, cross, jab, three knees, jab, cross, jab, four knees, I'm sorry, then jab, cross, jab again, all right? Here we go, three, two, one, right here. Jab, cross, jab, then we four, three, two, and one. Jab, cross, jab, and four, three, two, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, four knees as you turn around and again. Jab, cross, jab, four knees. Good job. Jab, cross, jab, four knees. Always starting with that front knee. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, pull, 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 pull. Jab, cross, jab, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. 10 seconds. Finish strong. Right here. Jab, cross, jab, four knees. All right, we've got three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right, all the way to the floor. We've got hip raises right here. Hips up overhead, our feet up overhead, hands beside the hips. We're gonna lift the hips and lower. Let's go in two and one. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good job, guys. As you lift the hips, that's where you're exhaling, all right? Good. Inhale when the hips come down, exhale as the hips go up. Nice tight core. Drawing that belly button up into your rib cage, feeling your inner core all the way into your pelvic floor. Good job. Draw that belly button in and up. Little lift. It's not a big movement, right? Don't feel like this has got to be some big, huge movement. It doesn't. Little lift. All right, finish these in four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, guys, we're going to bring it to bridges while we're here, right? All right, so again, keeping that core tight, flat back, belly button in and up. We're going to lift the flat back and lower it in two and one right here. Just lift and lower, lift and lower. Good job. Lifting a flat back and lowering a flat back, all right? We are not arching our back. If you want to lift your toes and come up on your heel, good job. You can do that for a little more intensity. Just lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Good job. Keep that back nice and flat. You guys are doing fantastic. This is exercise 37. Woo! Here we go. Let's finish strong. Three more exercises. Good job. When we're done here, we're going to roll over for pike toe touches, all right? Here we go. All the way up and down. We've got three, two, and one. All right, so easy transition, just the rollover transition, right? <laughs> all right, all the way up, right here. We're in a plank, we're gonna pike and toe touch. I gotta get to where there's no sweat. My mouth is so sweaty. So pike, toe touches, and two, and one. Core tight, reach back, touch that opposite toe with the hand. Good job. Try to replace that hand under the shoulder. Good work. You don't have to absolutely look at your toe, all right? Reach that hand back there to tap the toe. Let's not completely tuck our chin. Good work. So try to keep those eyes right there on the hands in the plank. And try not to go all the way back to your, try not to watch your, keep your eyes off your toe, basically. <laughs> I don't want you to tuck your chin all the way to your toe. All right, guys, right here. We've got four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, next exercise. We've got walk-ups. I'm going to dry my mat off a little bit here. We're going to walk up the mat. We've got three ankle taps. So one, two, three. Three ankle taps. Walk it back. One, two, three. Ankle tap for three, all right? Here we go. Let's go in two and one. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left. Up for three, three heel taps. Back for three, three heel taps. Good job. This is definitely <laughs> easier to do than it is to say. Back for three. It's three, not four. Sorry about that. Walk 
and up for three, driving the heels up for three. That'll help you stay opposite. All right, let's do a few more of these just to be even, right? Got a late start on these guys. Good job. So let's get five more seconds. Woo! Four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, guys, here we go. Last exercise. We've got four half jacks followed by four tap backs. We're gonna push these tap backs, right? Here we go. Two and one. Half jacks right here. Lots of range of motion and then push it back four. All right? Just tapping back. We're not lunging back there. We're just tapping back there, right? Push it back, push it back. Four half jacks. Lots of range of motion. Lots of change of direction, right? That's been our mojo this whole time. Wrapping up four, 40, <laughs> four circuits, 40 exercises right here, guys. Woo! Good. Give me 15 more seconds. A little bit longer here to get even. We got it, we got it. Push it back, four, three, two, last set, half jacks. Give me four, right here. Push it back, four, this is it. Four, three, two, one. Woo! High five, guys. Great job. Nice work. We did it uh, group fitness style there at the end. Let's <laughs> be straight from our time a little bit. All right, grab your drink, grab a towel. But don't go away. Come back, let's cool down together. What a workout, guys, fantastic. All the way over, good. Arms up overhead, feet out in the opposite direction. Right there, guys. Just relax, deep breath in, let it go. Deep breath in and let it go. Good job, just release right there. All right, we're gonna draw gently that right knee up, hold it there. Right, just right there. I won't be able to do this with my left leg, so if it's your right leg that's causing you a problem, you can just hold it under it like that. You don't have to hug it up. You can just hold it just like this, just give you a little bit of a stretch there. Good job. Now we're gonna extend that leg up overhead. If you can grab your toe or your ankle, go ahead. Just pull that leg over a little bit further. Core tight, keeping that low back on the floor. We're not lifting that up off the floor to get the stretch. Great job, guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up for this workout. I would so appreciate it. Bring that knee gently back in. And now let's extend that leg out and bring in the left leg. So hug that left leg up. Get a stretch there. Good. 40 exercises. I like that format, uh, breaking it up between weighted and cardio. Knowing that I can just put my weights away. I don't have to think about weights for 10 exercises. All right, now let's extend that left leg and again, Pulling out the calf or the toe. Let's just drive that leg over a little bit further. The knee is still slightly bent. It's not a completely straight leg. And again, keep your back onto the floor. Don't raise your tailbone to get this stretch here. Just hold it there. Good job. All right, bring that knee back in. Let's add the left leg right here. And just holding the ankles here with the knees up. Let's just rotate the ankles here. And now switch directions, just nice and easy. Good, and bring the knees in, lower them to the floor, extend, again, arms up overhead, just so we can roll over. Good, hold this stretch right here, and bring the hands right here under the shoulders, and just press up right here. Getting a little bit of a stretch there. Nice job. And again, all the way back down. This time, let's come up onto all fours, round your back. Good job. And let's bring it back to the floor and just press your chest up. Good, kind of a cobra stance here, holding this. Feels so good. And back down. And this time we're gonna press all the way up onto all fours. And from here, let's round your back up. Just a great job, guys. Really push it hard through all 40 of those exercises. Let's turn this up to a pike, pressing the head between the arms. Right there, hips going back, heels planted into the floor. Big, deep stretch there through the back of the legs and the glutes. Good, good, good. Nice, all right, walk those feet back around. Let's alternate the knees, stretching through the calves. Lots of little calf raises today here and there. So let's stretch through there, just alternating the knees. Thanks again, guys, for doing this with me today. 
love crushing these workouts with you. Be sure to check out my channel. I've got lots of other knee friendly exercises. Let's walk these feet all the way up to the hands. Roll it up nice and slow. Good job. Let's bring that left arm across the chest, wiggle the fingers. Been making all knee friendly workouts since my knee surgery. So be sure to check out those knee friendly workouts if that is what you're looking for. I also have lots of other workouts, so be sure to check out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't, all right? Wiggle those fingers right there on the right arm. Good job. Let's take the feet out wide right here. Clasp the hands, press the palms to the front. Big stretch right there through the back. Good job. Just look down. Good. And now let's raise the arms up all the way back behind you. Again, let's clasp the hands here and draw those fingers apart, just like this, stretching through the chest out front. Super job, guys. A few little arm crosses right here to the front. Thanks again for crushing that with me. 40 exercises, you and me. Great job, guys. I'll see you again next time, all right?